Hello everyone, welcome to another lead code session. Today we are solving copy list with random pointer. Apparently this is a very popular problem and asked by many companies. So you've been given a list and it's not a regular linked list. There's also a random pointer which points to any of the nodes in the list. It may also point to null. And one thing to note is um, not every element can be reached through the random pointer, right? So for example, in this example, 1121, uh, the random pointer for the node one points to two, and the random pointer for node two also points to two. So there's no way for you to reach the node one, right? And this is important, yeah, this will, this is important to know because uh, this is the way you tell how to initialize your mapping. So there has to be a way to have some kind of mapping between the old node and the new node because the random pointer can point in either directions. It can point to the node which has not been created yet. It can also point backwards. So to, to the nodes which have already been created. So if I have a mapping of old and new node, all I have to check is that if the new node exists, uh, I just adjust my pointers accordingly uh, and keep moving forward. So let's do that. So I'm gonna use a map to use, to create a mapping between old and new nodes. So this map, And then I'm gonna create two nodes. I'm gonna create the node for the new list. Let's call it PTR2. And this will copy the value from head. And now, should you initialize your map or not? That is the question. And as I said before, you don't know that you'll be able to reach the first node because there are no guarantees that uh, there will be a random pointer towards first node. So it's a good idea to initialize your map. Okay. And then we can create one more node to iterate the list. This will point to head. And now we want to iterate the list and for every node, we are checking the next and the random node, right? So let's call it random node. And this would be pdr.random. Similarly, I would have a next node. And this could be null too, so I have to make sure that these are not null. So if these are not null, now we can check in the map if there exists a mapping. And if there is not a mapping, then we create a mapping. So we create a new node uh, and the value would be the same as the old node. So that would be random node dot well. And now we want to assign this to the random node for PTR2. And the same thing we'll do for the next node. So I'm just gonna copy this. And next node. And this would be next 
node and next node. And sorry, this would be next. Okay. So now all you're doing is, uh, so for example, if you have this seven, so you're iterating through seven and you're looking at the next and the random for seven. So the random, so the random for seven in this case is null. Uh, this doesn't help, this is not a good example. Uh, okay, let's take this. So if you're iterating through one and two, you're checking for the next and the random node value for one. In this case, they are both two. So the first time you check for random node and this node doesn't exist, right? The new node corresponding to uh, two. So you add a new node and then you assign that to the next. Now you get the random node and then you look if there is a new node corresponding to the old uh, two node and there is, we just added it. So then you get the same node and you assign the random value to that node. All right, and then all you have to do is just increment both the pointers in the forward direction. And that should be it and then we have to return ptr2 because that is the head of what we, we have already traversed ptr2 but we can use the mapping okay okay Right, so let's handle the null condition. All right, so thank you for all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.